actor Russell Hornsby has had quite a year. He played Mike Tyson's promoter Don King in the Hulu miniseries Mike and is now returning as Charles Flannery, the patriarch in the hit star show BMF Black Mafia Family, which is loosely based on the true stories of two drug dealing brothers as the family struggles to make ends meet. Charles does not see eye to eye with his sons on how to provide for the family. Take a look. Remember, pride often comes before the fall. I don't know who to trust in this family anymore. We're gonna stick together no matter what. My sons did not come from a broken home. They came from a broken city. We don't get to pick and choose who we save. A lot going on there. Russell Hornsby joins us now. How you doing, Russell? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we are so glad to have you. First, we want to congratulate you on your NAACP Image Award nomination for Mike. In BMF, you play Charles Flannery, a devoted and hardworking father who's trying to provide for his three children and wife during the late 80s in Detroit as drugs plague his community. How does what's happening within the neighborhood impact the family's dynamic? Well, I think we have to look at where America was in the 80s. Uh, we're talking about, um, you know, industry um, defunct, uh, steel mills closed, uh, car factories are closed. We had high unemployment and uh, high inflation. And, you know, at the time, you have a two parents um, who couldn't provide for their family. And so you had these uh, two brothers uh, who decided to make a way out of no way and decided to uh, delve in to the business of street pharmaceutical sales. Street pharmaceutical sales, also known as selling drugs. In the first season, your sons, Meech and Terry, were making a profit selling drugs. Now in the second season, we see Terry leave to start a chauffeur business with your character. How would you describe the very different relationships that Charles has with each of your sons? Well, I think that he looks at uh, both Meech and Terry obviously uh, different because they are two different people. But he realizes that uh, in dealing with Meech, he feels like Meech is already a lost cause. And him being the older brother, he's chosen to uh, live his life and make his way the best he can. I think that Charles feels that Terry still has hope. Uh, Terry is still enrolled in school, a fantastic student. He's trying to instill in, in Terry that um, nothing beats hard work. And uh, just put one foot in front of the other and do the best you can certainly a, a message that applies in, in real life as well. There's a lot of temptation in the streets that, that captivates the, the young adults in the show. What do you believe Charles's motivations are as a father to protect his family? Well, I, I think for Charles, is uh, what he's done is he chooses to put the, the Lord first, uh, put God and in, in family first. And has, you know, I think it it's bodes well and says a lot about the man that he is and the father that he is that uh, he and Lucille uh, are still uh, together, uh, that they're uh, an intact nuclear family, and, and that he's not um, going to go down without a fight. He's not going to lose his kids to the streets with, with, without a fight. And I think that that represents uh, a lot of parents of that time, but also a lot of parents uh, in today, present day as well. And switching gears now to another show that you starred in, Mike, uh, you played boxing promoter Don King, who famously represented Mike Tyson. Uh, you've mentioned that episode four, Meal Ticket, is one of your favorites. Why does that stand out to you in particular? How does it, it give viewers a better understanding of King and Tyson's relationship? Well, I think we get an opportunity in the, the fourth episode, Meal Ticket, to see uh, the depth and breadth of who Don was. Um, sort of what happened, his, sort of his sort of coming of age uh, tale and story. Uh, what happened to him in Cleveland in the 60s and, and what prison, his time in prison did for him. How he was able to sort of find himself. He became a voracious reader and, and studied just the ways of people. And he took that into business of promotion. He became, I, I like to call, one of the greatest uh, carnival barkers of all, if you will. To the BMF fans, uh, what can uh, viewers look forward to in this season without giving away any spoilers? Well, I think, well, this, will, at least for Charles, we'll see Charles in somewhat of a love triangle. Um, mm. uh, without giving away too much, he's a, he's a man trying to find himself uh, <laughs> and uh, try newfangled ways to have fun. Russell Hornsby, we thank you so much for joining us tonight. The limited series Mike is available to stream on Hulu, and the second season of Black Mafia Family airs Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Stars. Thank you so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.